Hi, it's Captain Mike here with you again. Um, I got the garden in, and uh, hopefully the uh, animals won't eat it up before it makes something uh, this year. Uh, it's getting really hot, and um, I called the air conditioning installation guy, and he came by here and um, to make me an estimate. And he looked around a little bit, and then he got to mumbling something about uh, contracts and uh, my firstborn, and I think I heard him say something about uh, all properties and my soul. I don't know. He, he was mumbling, and, and so I asked him to speak a little clearer, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. I'll bring the contract uh, when I come back, and I'll bring a razor blade and a buzzard quill, and we'll get to it. Don't know exactly what he's talking about, but... Uh, uh, we'll see. Maybe I can get this shop air conditioned. But that's not what I th this video is about. This video is actually an update on my removing um, boron nitride from some molds that I had applied it to. Uh, let me start off first by saying this is this is not a uh, I'm not knocking boron nitride or any of the companies that make it. Uh, ZYP is what I've been using. It's a good company good customer service. If you like boron nitride, definitely do business with them. Uh, if you do not like boron nitride, as I don't care much for it, uh, then I'm constantly trying to figure out how I can get it off of my molds so that I can reapply a glass release agent. Currently, I only know of two. I just got offline trying to figure out whether there were others. There might be others. I appreciate you all letting me know if there's someone other than uh, this company, which is uh, uh, Unique Glass Colors. They sell this uh, glass uh, separator. It works great so far. I'm working on an airbrush application for this particular product. product. I've mentioned it in several of my others. And it has a, uh, uh, a companion uh, product that goes with it free. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, and then there's USG, which I think is universal, or G, 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 something. It's universal glass release or something like that. Yeah, mix it with latex paint. I haven't experimented with that. I'm sure it's a great product. Uh, I'll won't mumble around, and I'll put that in the in the comments below so that you will know what that is also. And I link to a video that is, where is, the use of it is explained. Uh, but in this, we're just going to talk about where I tried to get the unit. Uh, where I tried to get boron nitride off of molds and uh, problems that I have had with some type of molds. Now, to get right to the meat of it, slump molds like this, this small one and larger, I've had no problems. The boron nitride came right off. They covered, uh, recoated with uh, Unique's glass separator. Absolutely great. No issues whatsoever. And it was the same with these right here. Uh, this one right here. Worked out really, really good. And I've got a lot of these texture molds. They cleaned up very good. A little chunk come out of this one right here had nothing to do with the glass separator. These molds that have these raised spots like this are prone to losing part as the glass creeps. Uh, even with the use of uh, Free, which is the companion product, they'll sometimes grab. Uh, uh, excuse me, nature of the beast. It's the nature of what we do. Uh, but so far it has worked great. However, I had some issues with some of these uh, molds that I make. I make a lot of these kind of molds right here for butterflies and different kinds of butterflies uh, and other things. And even this commercial mold right here, which is nothing but a sand dollar, uh, I had trouble with the glass wanting to stick. This one absolutely came completely apart after I had sprayed it with the Unique. Now, I did not use the free on these, okay? This was first firing just to see what it would do, uh, and it did not do well in them highly detailed, deep fusing molds. Let me make this perfectly clear. Fusing versus slumping over a texture mold. There's a lot of difference, difference in temperatures, difference in what you do. So after an, a, a problem or two, I had a problem with this uh, right here. It broke off when it came out. And I said, well, okay, uh, you know, uh, why beat it? And now is a great time to use this, this, this free, which is a powder. 
and like they tell me to do it and see what happens. So I did. And actually it worked very, very good. Uh, this right here is a, is a uh, ladybug, a mold that I made. And as you can see, it has, it has powder on it. Now this is not the same kind of powder that you get when you use boron nitride. That's real slick stuff and you just about can't get rid of it. This washes right off, right off. And it cleans up really good. But it helps the glass as it creeps in and out as it, as it slumps. And when you get fusing stuff, you got a lot of movement. A lot of movement. Uh, my little butterfly here came out absolutely great. Uh, it's got some bad places in it, but that had nothing to do with the uh, Glass Relief product. It pretty much had to do with not enough frit, and you get that. It's just, if you don't pile enough frit, you're gonna have it. And this one here was a commercial mold, and it stuck. It had, it had some of the release in it, but I don't know why. Uh, but, you know, expect this. This is why I tell you to experiment with things that don't matter because you are experimenting. This is not a, this is not a down and uh, totally proven thing yet about what you have to do to be, get perfect results. But we're getting there. This is just a, a, a bee. Same thing. It popped out absolutely great. Pretty deep mold. And I made this mold and it worked out very good. But here was the surprise. This, this was what got me kind of started on it. Uh, this was a commercial mold that I bought and I just kind of thought pyramids would be a great thing to have. And I know you can't see down in there. This one had free in it. It also had the glass separator. Now, when it popped out, and it popped right out now. It popped right out. No, no problem with any of this stuff sticking much. Uh, some of my heavy things did, but these didn't. But when it popped out, it pulled the glass separator on the top only. The red colored frit did not do anything. And so I ground it, okay, down to the yellow so that you can see. For some reason, that yellow frit pulled it. Now, I know part of why it done it. Part of why it done it is because I did not clean this mold properly. You can't get down in there just as it's difficult to get down into the real cracks and crevices of this stuff. And that again is what this video is about. These molds clean great. There's no problem. There's no crevices. Uh, these, you're going to really have to work on it. I have some ideas. Uh, these molds like this, which, you know, again, I made and they pop out good, but, uh, you know, having just a little bit of problem with the, with the, with the highly, highly textured glass fusing molds. Let me make it perfectly clear. Uh, here's another one I made. This is just like the, this one here that's actually is stuck in it and I haven't tried real hard to get it out, I, but you know, it, it just... It, it's not coming out. So I'm going to redo this one. This one has got glass separator on it. It's highly detailed. I've had problems with these molds before. So even with boron nitride, I've had problems with them. So don't, don't get all this mixed up. Understand what I'm saying. I'm show, just showing you that. Don't say, oh, goody, goody. Captain Mike's done figured out how to do this. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And I really think that we will get there. Uh, you're really great molds. I, I, I don't. I'm really tickled with these, and uh, I will get there on these. This was just kind of funny. Why it done it? Why it pulled only on the yellow? You see, that shows that it's something else. Frit is a funny thing. Not to mention, I make all my frit, so <laughs> you can't blame it on bullseye. You can't blame it on anybody. Uh, I make it. I go along with it. Uh, so anyway, when you've got a mold. You know, a deep mold like this that you're piling a lot of stuff in. You've already put ZYP on it or, or boron nitride. This has always been problematic right here. Always been problematic, so we're not even going to talk about it. Clean it, clean it, clean it. I'm looking for a mini pressure washer. My big pressure washer probably wouldn't be able to hold this stuff. But I'm thinking that might be the answer to some of this. I'll give you another update when I find out. But... You're going to really have to clean these, these glass fusing molds a lot better than you would clean a slumping or a draping mold. Okay, and that's it. And if you use this product, then make sure you get free 
put it on with a cotton sock, put it in there and dab it, you know, just dab it around on it, and it just, it's just an extra precaution. I don't think you'll have any problems with, with, with drape and slump molds, and you're just going to have to experiment with your, with your fusing molds to see what you've got. Uh, if you use the universal mold separator or whatever the stuff is called, uh, you know, go to their website, read the instructions, do what they say. I have not used that yet because I think it's too thick to spray, and kind of spray is what I've been doing. Uh, and if you have a another product, if you know of another product that we can try to, to compare with you know what I've done, please let me know because I don't. I started off with uh, uh, putting uh, that click kiln shelf stuff on them like you put on your kiln shelves. Uh, wash, kiln wash, I put that on stuff. Didn't like it, 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 was, it, it streaked up. And uh, I never have tried the uh, glass separator with a brush. That don't forget that that's primarily what it was designed to do. You may have to go back to a brush in here. We all may, and we'll see. So anyway, I brought you up to speed on this. I uh, hope I hadn't bored you too terrible much. Uh, we're going to continue to experiment on my homemade molds. So if I lose one, like if this one here doesn't make it, it could just go into the great growing heap of glass that I have and uh, thing outside. And we will, we will all learn together. Remember, I'm experimenting here. There's nothing proven about this. Don't go mess up a really good mold. Experiment. And if you come up with an idea, if you come up with something that you think is, works or would be helpful, please let me know. Put it in the comments, send me a message, however you want to do it. Okay, I'm Captain Mike. I'm finished with this video, and I'm out of here.